What is up guys? It's your boy Ori Fitness in the building. Welcome to a new workout video. In this video, I'm gonna share my push workout with you guys and comment it with a voiceover to share some tips for you and just share, give you an insight you know, into a push workout which is hitting our chest, our shoulder and our triceps, all right? Don't forget to like the video if you appreciate those kind of videos. Comment your thoughts, you know, I'm always open for discussion and if you, if you have questions, let me know. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more workout videos in the future, vlogs, fitness tips in general or motivation. I'll see you in the gym. Let's go! Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Ari Fitness checking in. You heard it with a voiceover. Um, I'm gonna be commenting my workout. I'm gonna leave the clips raw for you guys and just like explain you what I'm doing and try to share as many tips as I can. And we're starting with the first tip, which is warming up your rotator cuffs. And this exercise right here is so good to prevent shoulder injuries. Uh, I don't know about you, but I used to have um, a lot of some, or not a lot, but some kind of pain, like um, pain in my shoulders. And this really helps you like, you know, warm up your rotator cuff. So whenever you're um, doing chest exercise or shoulder exercises and you're making sure that your um, shoulder is warmed up and ready to um, to push the weight and then I'm gonna start I'm starting with my incline um, barbell incline bench press which is my uh, first exercise of this push workout and I'm doing a five times five that means I'm doing I'm picking a weight and doing five reps and I'm doing that for five sets. I'm really trying to get stronger because I'm definitely weight weak, in my opinion. I'm, I've, I'm, I've never been the, the strong guy, or and I, I'm not. I'm not even now. I'm not strong, so I definitely need to work on that. So five times five is a great method to work on your strength and to try to yeah increase the the, the strength and the weight. And I did five sets of those, always with the same weight. And my tip here is for you to always stick with the same weight. And once you've done, let's say in my case, it's five sets or five reps. And I actually did it. So I actually did five sets of five reps with the same weight. That means that next time when I'm gonna be doing the same exercise, I'm gonna have to use more weight, right? That's what I'm saying over again. And I'm always saying that um, that you have to increase your workload or get stronger and just progress that's so important if you want to build new muscles so here i am that's the third set um just a quick tip you know like keep your shoulders on the on the pads right on the bench i mean um you have to you need to have a tight core and uh feet are on the ground and just like stay solid you know and then just push with your chest and um don't push with your shoulder. That's why I encourage you to go watch my latest uh, YouTube video about uh, my tip number one uh, that will help you grow a bigger chest. And um, yeah, it was getting hard because I'm really like I'm really weak, man. I'm not used to pushing a lot of weight, so uh, I definitely almost hit went all the way to muscle failure, which is also not something that I recommend in the long term. Um, because otherwise you, you, you're not let it, giving yourself any like potential you know to get better if you're always reaching that muscle failure and um, that's why you have to work like like we say you know like no brain no gain that's exactly what you have to do and um, if you go to muscle failure you're just always super exhausted and you don't let your your body know like the potential to get better and increase the workload because I've done that when I started working out. I always went to muscle failure. There was always a guy that would spot me and help me like do f five more sets even though I wasn't doing anything. He was just like curling the bar uh, on the bench press. And in the long term, you're not gonna progress. You're, you're gonna, be, I have, I know people that, that are coming to me and they're like, hey, I'm not progressing anymore. And um, that's also because they're always hitting muscle failure. So how can you, you know, also um, get better? and do more reps in the long term or um, yeah, just get stronger. So to make it quick, you see that I'm, I'm struggling right here. 
Um, my tip is to put your, get your, put your shoulders a little bit forward, you know, um, so that you can really push with your chest because it's an exercise to target your upper chest. And then I moved on to the second exercise, which is, which is the machine decline chest press. And yeah, make sure that's, that's a, a tip for the beginners to grab the bar, like the handles, like um, at the same point. You know what I mean? Like left and right, it has to have the same distance where you're grabbing the, 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 when you're holding yourself. You know what I mean? Um, excuse my English right there. And I'm doing it unilateral. That means that I'm um, doing the, the right side first and then the left side just to, you know, make sure that um, I'm not having any muscular disbalances. And I'm also using a lot of chest, uh, uh, core, I mean, like the front abs and the obliques. Um, I don't know if you've tried it, but um, you can definitely feel the core is tight because you want to, you have to make sure that you're, you're sitting straight, right? Like you're gonna see whenever I'm pushing with one side, I'm kind of leaning, leaning um, to that, towards that side. And I'm really trying to sit straight. That's why I also have my, have a wide, wide stand with my feet. And I really try to contract my abs. Then I'm pressing with the chest as much as I can. Also here, it was pretty intense. I did four sets uh, between 12 and 10 and to 12 reps that's what i was aiming for and um there are a lot of like some benefits you know whenever you're doing it unilateral instead of doing both arms at the same time i mean both sides at the same time one thing that i don't really like is that the the, the you see that i had less energy for my left arm for the, because uh, i was already exhausted from the from the right side um, that's one thing, but uh, it's really important for me because I really want to avoid muscular disbalances. It's really a, let's say, it, uh, a goal of mine, this bulk, to like have a really symmetrical, you know, physique. And um, that's helping me, so I'll put more weight and then I did 10 reps. And I'm also new to this exercise, so I'm also making sure or trying to, to have my forearm and wrist in one line. All right, because that's also another thing a lot of people get injured because they're not their wrist and forearm are not in one line and then they the wrist is like kind of they just they get just get hurt man they hurt their wrist because of that so that's also a tip really important tip in case you are working on your chest or on shoulder exercises make sure that your wrist and forearm forearm are aligned and um, yep that was the last set saw me dancing just to you know get in the mood gotta motivate yourself um with some music if you're not taking any pre-workout boosters and also like for me gym wear uh, helps me get motivated so i feel kind of fresh i used to think that was dumb because i was always hey i'm going to the gym for my you know for myself i don't care how i look but it actually motivated me to you know have a, a cool looking shirt this one here is from gymshark yeah, and I was really focused, try to focus on my chest and squeeze with the chest and not with the shoulder. Um, that's what I said in my last video. Keep your shoulders locked on the bench and really try to push with your chest. And then I went over to the third chest exercise, which is the cable upper chest flies or, or upper chest crossover, however you want to call them. And I did a lot of sets of those. I did like five sets. And here my tip is really to tr figure out what angle feels the best for you. I'm saying feel because that's an isolation movement. So you have to focus on your muscle mind connection to really um, squeeze and contract your chest. Try to squeeze at the top for like a second if you can. And uh, really try to feel the angle that works best for you. See me, I'm, I'm changing the angles, put it a little bit higher. And because you know the muscle fibers just are might be different for you than for other people and for your favorite influencer so maybe you have to be like you have to have the cable super low or maybe a little bit higher and um, I figured out that that's how I really target my upper like the you know the the chest the muscle fibers from the chest that are on the very top you know 
Um, I figured out that how, that's how I target them the best. Keep in mind, just quick uh, a quick form check. So chest up, head up, core is supposed to be tight. And then we squeeze, that means contract your chest at the top. You see that? And, yep, and then go to a stretch. And that's really important. And it's an isolation movement, so you don't have to go heavy, you know, for like in the first exercise, I did five reps already. And then in the second exercise, when you saw me doing the decline chest press, I did 10 to 12. So now I'm really doing like 12 to 15 reps, really trying to focus on my chest and what you can do and some people do it, sometimes I do it, I close my eyes and really try to focus on my chest, you know, like the pecs, how I'm squeezing them and how I'm hitting the muscle fibers. Yeah, so I, I, I really like constantly moved the, the cables, always went a little bit higher and um, yep, it was getting hard. And uh, that's what I did for my chest. Um, so I did three chest exercises because I have two push workouts a week, right? That's why I'm doing the push pull legs split. That's because I'm doing each spl uh, split, yeah, push pull legs twice a week. So my volume doesn't have to be that high. Some guys do five chest exercises, but that's because they're working out their muscles, their chest once a week, which isn't really optimal. You know, guys, right, that the muscle protein synthesis is over uh, after like 48 to 72 hours. That means that your muscles are already ready to get new stimuli and to be worked on again. So you're actually missing the chance if you're only training your muscles once a week because you could be doing twice as much gains, right, if you, if you would work on them twice a week. But then you have to adjust the volume, right? So the work, the volume, so the number of exercises, number of sets and intensity, because you can be doing five extra chest exercise. I mean, that would be 10 chest exercises a week. Yeah, that's just a quick tip. But uh, let me know if you have any questions, you know, about like how to like adjust, you know, the volume or the workload, the intensity, the workout split. If you're doing, let me know if you're if you're only training chest. You know, some guys have like International Chest Monday when they just work on their chest. Um, you have to figure out a plan for you that works best, that you can, you know, get gains, make gains in the long term. That's really important and just progress. And then we went over to the dumbbell lateral raise. Um, I also posted a video about it where I shared where <laughs> in the video in which I shared the most important tip that you should be pulling with your elbows and not with your wrist that your elbow is supposed to. I'm saying it's supposed to because it's not that easy actually even for me sometimes it's supposed to be higher than your wrist. You see that? Yep. I think you can see it. So you have to have, in my case, I have to, I need to have my, the dumbbells a little bit, like have them in front of me, not like completely next to me, a little bit in front of me and the elbows are kind of bent and then you push them out to the side with your elbows. And uh, I, I did that wrong for years, but I explained that in my, in my other video. Check it out if you, if you haven't, if you need tips for your shoulders. You can see me doing it from the side. You see that? Like how the elbow is lower, uh, higher than the wrist. And uh, it was really hard for me for years. Like I was like, how is my elbow supposed to be higher than my wrist? Just, I wasn't able to do it. I didn't figure it out, you know, that I had to bend my elbows. And um, guys, the push workout means chest, shoulder, triceps. Unfortunately, my phone died because I am filming this entire workout with my iPhone. It's an old iPhone. And uh, I'm going to be sharing the missing exercises in separate videos. Like I'm going to be sharing, posting a, a triceps video soon because I want to give you some tips on how to work your triceps. You know, how you can make your triceps bigger because it makes two thirds of your arms. And I'm going to be sharing that in a separate video and also some other shoulder exercises. I'm doing um, these lateral raises and then I did some machine shoulder press and then one tricep exercise. Um, but keep in mind, right, the volume is pretty low, but I, I, I work on them twice a week. So I have, I have another chest workout coming, you know, this week and I have another shoulder workout and tricep workout. So I don't work on these muscles separately. 
All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if it helped you or if you got, you know, some kind of tips that were useful for you. I'm checking out. Talk to you in the next video. Your boy Ari, peace out.